Hi, my name is Dr. Thomas Leonard. I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist or a children's eye doctor, and I'm coming to you from my clinic in Redmond of children's eye doctors. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a topic called nasal lacrimal duct obstruction. Nasal lacrimal duct obstruction is um, a uh, diagnosis that's made in children, typically the ones that I see between the ages of birth and 18 months of age, though it can go on throughout life. Um, I'm usually seeing the patients around one year of age. They, uh, the parents are concerned because the child's tearing every single day. There can be clear tears or there can be a mucopillant discharge. The lay person's term for this is um, uh, goop coming from the eyes. Um, and uh, that's on a daily basis as well. And uh, parents are constantly confronted by daycare centers and um, uh, babysitters and um, out in public, they'll say, you know, your child has an eye infection. It's not actually an infection, but it, it definitely is uh, the normal flora on the skin that's just proliferated in, uh, in the nasal duct system and causing uh, the, the bacteria to uh, be uh, regurgitated out into the eye. And um, so I have a diagram here that shows that um, there is a little hole in the upper and lower lid called a punctum. It goes to a, a duct into an, an, into the nose and it's, uh, it comes out the nose. Um, typically the obstruction is occurring uh, at the inferior part of the, of the nasal duct system. In the nose itself, there's a membrane across there. Um, when uh, there is uh, no obstruction, the membrane is open. And when there is obstruction, that membrane is still persistent from birth. Um, oftentimes, a child will tear a little bit in the first few months of life every day, and then it will uh, clear on its own. Um, the uh, solution for this nasal lacrimal duct obstruction uh, is either to wait, and that's a, that's a fairly good option in uh, terms of uh, patients without Down syndrome or midcranial facial abnormalities. Uh, but if the parents are uh, interested in having a procedure and or the child is very, very uncomfortable with all the tearing and uh, goopy discharge, then we can actually perform a uh, what we call a nasal lacrimal duct probe in the office. Um, this probe is done uh, under just local anesthesia. Uh, the child is somewhat uncomfortable during the procedure. Uh, however, it's, it takes about 30 seconds. It's a fast procedure. Uh, and we just open up, we put a cannula through the system, open up the nasal lacrimal duct obstruction, uh, that membrane that is there. And uh, typically, it's 90% of the time it's successful. 10% of the time we'll have to re-probe. Um, um, but the good news is there's no general anesthesia. Um, I believe I'm the only uh, pediatric ophthalmologist in the uh, greater Seattle area that does it in the office. And I do that because if parents want to have something done, they prefer not to have to have their child go under general anesthesia. So that's a little information about nasal lacrimal duct obstruction. Um, if your um, child has tearing, um, uh, and especially newborn tearing that you're concerned about, don't hesitate to call us or have your pediatrician refer you to us. Uh, for evaluation, and we will be happy to evaluate your child for uh, this uh, topic, uh, nasal lacrimal duct obstruction. Thanks for your attention.